Hello! So, today we have something special here. We have a 2007 American Vintage Reissue Stratocaster. Now I know it doesn't quite look like an American Vintage Reissue. It looks like a, another very famous guitar by a very known artist. Um, yes, it's it's been remade to look like the John Mayer black one. And in a lot of ways, it is a very similar guitar. So it does have the alder body, does have a maple neck with a Indian rosewood fretboard. It does have the uh, American standard tuners in gold with pearloid buttons. It does have the vintage spaghetti logo and the vintage headstock and no skunk stripe on the back. It's a nitro finish neck and a nitro finish body. And the nitro has been worn almost gone. There's still a little bit of nitro lacquer still on the uh, back of the neck, but just barely. So it's super smooth, super nice to play. There's really nice checking that you can't really see in the camera, but in real life you can see the checking here and checking in the black paint of the body. Uh, the American Standard trim has been swapped out for a gold American Standard trim, but the saddles have been replaced with Goto uh, Vintage Correct Saddles. You can find them on Goto's website and read about them if you like. They have larger holes that are Vintage Correct, so the string has less of a break angle, and they're supposed to be made out of the same steel that the original Fender saddles were made out of. There's of course a steel block, and the springs are raw vintage, I believe they're called true vintage springs or something like this. They're also supposed to be vintage correct. So they are larger in diameter, and they're a slightly softer spring, so you need four of them. But this is set up to work perfectly with it. Um, there's a custom shop neck plate on the back of this guitar. It's not a custom shop guitar. The original neck plate comes with the uh, case, comes in the case, and comes with the guitar. Of course a whammy bar comes with it as well. So in the guitar we have 250k pots as you would expect. Five-way switch, it's wired up like most modern Stratocasters are now. So the front two pickups are wired to the front tone knob and the rear pickup, the bridge pickup, is wired to the rear uh, tone knob. So if you have it in, the, in front in between setting, then the front tone knob adjusts both of these. If you have it in the rear in between setting, then both of the tone knobs are active. Um, the pickups. The pickups are a 69, a custom shop 69 in the front, a fat 50s in the middle, and a Texas Special in the bridge. Now why did I choose those pickups? Because they're all mid-scooped. And they're about the closest pickups you can find to John Mayer's own uh, Big Dipper spec pickups. So the front 69 pickup is around a 5.8, I believe. Uh, I believe John Mayer's also is, the Big Dipper, and scooped, mid-scooped. The Fat 50s, if I remember correct, is around a 6.4, 6.5, and is mid-scooped. And the Texas Special uh, rear pickup is also mid-scooped, and I believe is like a 6.9 or 7 or something along those lines. I believe John Mayer's Big Dipper is higher, like a 7.4 or something. So, very comparable resistance levels, all mid-scooped. You're going to get about as close to the Big Dippers as you can without owning the Big Dippers. So the neck. The neck is one of the few areas where it will differ from John Mayer's signature Stratocaster or the black one, if you could find one. Those guitars are 9.5 inch radius. This one is the American Vintage reissue, so it's a 62 reissue, or it's based upon a 62 reissue. So the neck is uh, 
two five, a seven and a quarter radius. And the carve of the neck is a C shape. Really, I would go so far as to say a thin C shape, but uh, you know, it's it's very easily playable. It's it's what most people prefer these days. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's not the chunkiest of neck though. And vintage clay dot spacing at the twelfth fret, twelfth fret. All uh, imitation clay dots, white dots along the side, uh, gold hardware everywhere. You'll notice the gold kind of wearing off of the screws that that happens if you look at any Mary Kay Strat, uh, actual you know vintage Mary Kays. You see very very little uh, gold plating still remaining on them. It it wears off, and uh, that's pretty much it. The relicking is extreme, so this needs to be, the purchaser needs to be somebody that's very comfortable with relicking. I would say I'm slightly reluctant to sell this Stratocaster. It's amazing. If you try strat strats in a store or something, if you know strats and you know that occasionally you find a special one, has some mojo in it, I would go so far as to say this is one of the special ones. It has mojo. It has uh, still the original vintage fret wire in it, a vintage style fret wire, smaller lower fret wire, but the playability is so easy, the action is really low, and in my opinion the fret wire doesn't need to be changed even though it's, it's vintage and low. It, it's just really something special and it sounds incredible plugged in. So, if this is the style of guitar that you're looking for, but you can't afford the $10,000 or something for an original custom shop black one, then here's your chance to own the next best thing. And if you're not after a black one, but you're just after a highly modded, top quality American vintage Stratocaster, well, here you go. So... Happy bidding. I hope somebody enjoys this video and purchases this guitar. I guarantee if you purchase it, you're going to love it. It's a really wonderful instrument. And now for some tones. So I think I said it at the beginning. I'll say it one more time right now. It's a 2007 uh, American Vintage reissue. It comes with a semi-hard case, not, not a soft gig bag, like an actual zip-up case. And... Uh, Let's listen to some tones. Stay safe. Have a good day. Goodbye.
Mm-hmm.